Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today I am bringing you a scrapbook process video featuring a hip kit sketch as well as pages or papers and product from the hip kit December 2017 um, scrapbook collection. So I'm just showing you here the two photos that I'm going to be uh, using as well as the cardstock that I've pulled from the kit um, to make the banners as well as the base page. I'm also thinking of using some of these word thickers in order to make my title and then these gold glitter and a couple frames. As, as you probably know by now, if you've watched any of my videos, I struggle with frames, so I'm constantly pushing myself to use those. I also dug deep into my stash for some of these stickers as well as, um, that's a Crepe Paper Oasis collection, which is, I believe, which was released last year. And then I also have those mosaic tiles that um, have been in my stash forever that I thought would look cool on the page, but we don't. I don't actually use them. So I'm using this watercolored cardstock from the kit. Um, it's an exclusive hip kit uh, page that I believe Irene Landgraf painted. And um, so, I mean, look it, it's turquoise, it's watercolored. My photos have turquoise water, so it pretty much is a match made in heaven there. You really can't go wrong. So um, that's what I've decided to use as my base. It's a good neutral, well, not neutral, it's a good muted background. So I'm using this pretty bold black and white leafy floral I guess and on the other side is a pink tone on tone as well as this um, floral bird um, paper and basically what I'm doing is I'm just trimming off strips in different widths to form the banners that will lay behind the larger of my two photos uh, based on the sketch. So I'm not trimming them down length to the length yet because I'm just trying to figure out where my placement is going to be. And I'm checking the sketch again to see how that looks. And I've made a note approximately where I think it should be. And I'm just going to double check, make sure it looks good, and then trim in some of the fishtail um, at the end of there. And I just like to cut a little slit up the middle and then a diagonal cut um, to meet that in the middle. And then the other two, um, one I'm doing another fishtail and then the other one I'm just doing an angled cut. And I like the, ver the mix of those. Um, and then to hold them together, I am using the tiny attacher and then I am going to affix that to the back of the page. Now this is pretty literal to the sketch. Normally my inclination would to be to bring it all the way up to the top but the sketch didn't have that and I thought why not let's push myself a little bit so there's a little bit of um, space up at the top of the photo there and um, I thought that would be a good place to use the word wowza <laughs> um, the beach was pretty spectacular we didn't spend much time there mostly because the resort was very large and I think we were in one of the farthest rooms from the beach and so it was quite a trek to get down to the beach every day and we found that it was just as easy to hang out by the pool and if we needed to go back to the room for something you know it was done very quickly and uh, so we did go down I think once or twice but really for the most part we hang around hung around the pool but the beach was was beautiful the water is that beautiful turquoise blue of the um, Caribbean or that the Caribbean's known for. I mean, how can you, how can you resist it? Um, again, I'm following pretty much to the sketch by adding the little cluster that's going to be down at the bottom. I'm not sure what I'm going to add there yet, so I'm kind of trying to figure out um, what exactly I'm going to do. So I thought I would just call or the title of this would be Wowza, Love the Beach. I know, it's uh, very witty and intelligent and innovative, but it is what it is. That's what came out, <laughs> and that's what got attached to, to the page. And I'm just going to kind of nestle that there in the little notch between the two, between the two photos. 
Now, this particular uh, photo, or the larger photo, you can see there's a small shipwreck, or you can see a shipwreck in the distance. Um, it was interesting, when I came to the Dominican in 2004 with a different friend, um, our resort was further up the beach, and we had heard there was a shipwreck, and I remember we had walked down the beach quite a ways in order to um, to see this shipwreck and it um you know it's it's quite quite off from the from the coast or like it's quite off from the beach so it's it's a distance out is what i'm trying to say and so it was okay you know that was interesting didn't even think about it at all when um we booked this trip that you know we would be somewhat close but um it ended up being that we were almost opposite so i guess in 2004 i had walked almost all the way down to where this resort was which is kind of cool um the the shipwreck is deteriorating like it is is you know eroding and and disappearing i guess as the elements are taking its toll on it so i just journaled a little bit about how we didn't actually spend a lot of time at the beach um there but it still was beautiful nonetheless now i have some really 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 old rub-ons and this was a risky move because we all know that rub do or can have a shelf life. And I thought I was going to give it a try and hope for the best. And if by some, for some reason they didn't work out, then I would come up with a plan to cover them up somehow. Uh, maybe add a different strip of paper or something over top. But in this case, I was very careful and they did transfer fairly well. So I was quite pleased with that. And I think these might be an old Bow Bunny collection. I can't remember exactly offhand, but um, they are, like I said, they are old. Like I think they're even older, <laughs> even older than the other Bow Bunny collection, which I think is from 2011. So I've had these in my stash for a while. So I am in the, on the quest of using up some of my stash. And so um, you're going to see that I'm going to use quite a few of these rub on seeing as now that I know they work on this particular page. So I'm adding the word seashell here just above um, the paper and the shells that I laid down just to, you know, build that cluster up a little bit more. Now I find when I use rub-ons that the best thing for me to do is apply pressure and then gently lift and then check to see how it's going. And then if you're careful and don't pull it apart or pull it away too quick, you can easily lay it down and apply more pressure just to um, fully transfer that. So we've got a starfish here that we're gonna tuck in behind the photo and behind the banners. So you'll see here is where I gently peel it up a little bit at a time, make sure everything's transferring and there's no little bits that are left behind. And if you do happen to miss a piece, quite often you can align it and still transfer, which is good. So there are a couple other smaller starfish. So we're gonna lay that down here in this corner. And again, it's just kind of tucking the elements together so that they look like they belong. So this is um, the starfish angle is kind of tucking into or rather the paper that I lay down is tucking into that angle of the starfish and then there was this little crab and we're just gonna pop him down as well so as you can see this page came together really quickly um, although it took me <laughs> a while because I'm, I'm I am a little bit on the slow side when I scrapbook but there really isn't a ton of what's the right word there's no mixed media or anything fancy like that it literally is just a few strips of paper a couple photos sub raw bonds and you're gonna see me pull out some uh, dimensional stickers here shortly so I'm looking through what I have to see what I think will work I do like these Jolene boutique stickers um, they are dimensional but I think they're a little on the large side. So then I found these other ones. Oh, I think maybe these are autumn, autumn leaves maybe, is that the right word? I mean, these are really old too. I picked these up in Walmart like at least eight years ago. 
yeah, at least eight years ago. So I'm just affixing a few of those um, on the embellishment cluster at the bottom, as well as in the top corner where I started um, with the starfish. Yeah. And then I thought I could tuck the palm trees and a little flower there on the edge of the smaller photo with the frame. And I really like how that looks. And I'm really trying to use of as much of these as possible. Like I said, I am on a quest to use up my stash. And you know what? It really irritates me is that like I'm almost going to use this whole pack if you look at it. Like there's not going to be much left. Why can I never use a full pack of stickers? Like why is there always one or two that I just can never seem to use or just doesn't seem to fit? So I'm even trying to uh, find a place for these flip-flops. I struggle with these really iconic kind of images where, you know, I just like a pair of flip-flops floating on a page just seems strange to me. Anyways, I did find a spot for them to be able to tuck them in and I am very happy with that. So now I do want to um, include a little bit of documentation about, um, about the, uh, shipwreck itself, but before I do that, I'm just checking the hip kit club subscription kit thing I'm a jig. Why can I never say that the kit? I'm just looking at the kit to see if there's anything else that I want to add into the page and they had some stars I think they were like cork stars maybe and this label and this label is going to um, perfectly uh, or be a perfect spot for me to add the description about the shipwreck. So I just went online and looked it up so that I could get the details down. I think the fact that, you know, it's shown up twice in my life, you know, that I've, I've seen it twice, um, I think it warrants a little bit of documenting because I don't think I made any comment in it in my original album that I did way back when. And we're just going to tuck that in behind the top photo. So now just to adhere these stars down, I am using uh, some of my Tombow Mono Multi um, Glue, which is my glue of choice when adhering embellishments, etc. And just a little dab. And you'll see me using a stamp block now and then, and that's just to apply a little bit of pressure on them so that they have some good adhesion. These Vicky Booten enamel dots. I'm going to see if I can, you know, tuck a couple of these in here and there. And some of them have a, uh, have icons or images on them and then others are just plain enamel. So where possible, I try to use the ones that have the um, decorative element on it. I'm just playing up with sizes a little bit. That's always, um, a struggle and I seem to be layering them on top of the stars. That seems to be my common thread and I think that is about it. So we're going to leave you with some close-ups here and as well as some still photos. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this enjoyable and maybe inspiring. Leave a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to leave a comment below about um, a trip maybe that you did that you're scrapbooking on and what you are working on at this moment. Until next time, happy crafting.